What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So soon after the release of Android 13 from Google, Jai came with Pixel 6 port for OnePlus 8 series. So in this video, let's take a quick look at Pixel 6 port for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro and 8T. We'll tell you guys what all things are working on this port and we'll also discuss about some of Android 13 features which Google introduced with this latest Android upgrade. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I'm running Pixel 6 port. Talking about the software information, here you can see it says Pixel 6 Pro. Android version is Android 13. It comes with 5th April 2022 security patch. And guys, J ports are way better than flashing GSIs because most of the things are broken on GSI images but on these ports you'll find 80% of stuff working. So now before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video and still we have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay so now let's start with the features of Android 13 and at the end of video I'll also show you what all things aren't working. So first change what you guys gonna notice is under wallpaper and style section. If you go to wallpaper and style section now we have lot many color options to choose from. On Android 12 or you can say Android 13 developer preview we never had so many color palettes to choose between. But now total number of 16 tri-colors palette we get to see under wallpaper colors and under basic colors we do have dual color palettes again 16 different options to choose between. Though remember one thing these things completely depends on wallpaper. And if you switch to dark theme you'll notice this change over here. So let me switch back to normal theme first. So if you are using the light theme you can see under basic colors the dual color palette starts from the second page itself. But once we switch to dark theme and now on the second page also we have solid colors, third page also we have solid color except the last one which comes with the dual color palette. So this change you'll notice once you switch to dark theme. And next major change is with the media control stuff. So I've played a song here and in the media control you can see this bar, you can say progress bar. If I tap here you'll see these waves up to where the song have been played and the rest bar remains in a straight line. And also depending on the song thumbnail, now media control completely adapts to the material you. Initially this app icon never used to adapt to the material you, but now this also has started to adapt the same color of song thumbnail. And then we do have this option. So if any application is running in the background and if you swipe the notification panel towards the bottom side, it will say one active app. Tapping on it will give you a pop up and will show you which application is running in the background. You can just tap on stop to stop the application and later with Android 13 we have also got back the do not disturb mode which was changed to priority mode. Another major change is done with the clipboard part. So for example let's copy something from here and soon you copy you will get a screenshot type preview. So let me show you once again. Let's copy and there you can see you can just tap on it and this will give you the app name from where you have copied and you also have the option to edit the same thing and this also works with the images and URL. So here we have the image, let's copy the image and there you can see the same thing appeared in similar to screenshot preview and soon you tap on it this will take you to the editor tool from where you can edit the image and the same thing goes with the URL also. So we copied the URL, we got the name from where we have copied the URL and now if you want you can make changes and share the same thing. After that under lock screen we also have a new option called control from lock devices. So this option is a quite handy option. I've showed few things in my previous video but some of them aren't working on the ports or you can say GSI images. These are pixel exclusive features but I'll tell you what does this mean. So if you have enabled this feature from lock screen and on the lock screen we have this home control icon, you tap on it, you'll be able to access home controls without unlocking your device. And when it comes to display for the supported devices with Android 13, Google have introduced the option to switch between different resolutions. I've shown that feature in a previous video, you guys can check out that video, link of that will be given in the description below. So guys, these are some of the highlighted features of Android 13. Now let's talk about some of the stuff which isn't working on Android 13 ports or you can say GSI images. So if you're using the port, you won't get fingerprint unlock option and face unlock option. So remember this, you have only few options to lock your device which includes pin pattern or password. On this port you won't get working alert slider because it's a Pixel 6 port and Pixel 6 or 6 Pro doesn't come with alert slider support. Later I also noticed that fast charging isn't working so you can see here I kept my device for charging at 417 
that time the battery percentage was 11 percent and 530 it was only 64 percent though it was showing that charging rapidly but device wasn't charging basic functionality is like calling i'm using my geo sim card and that works fine geo sim card wasn't working on the gsi which we flashed on our oneplus 7 pro but on jazz port i've never faced any kind of issues with the calling services you have working wi-fi bluetooth connection don't expect everything to be working fine on these early stages of port. You won't have gestures working like double tap to wake or double tap to sleep. These ports are in very early stages. I won't recommend you guys to flash it on your primary device. But if you still wish to try out Android 13 on your devices, you can follow the video guide which is given in the description below to install Android 13 on your OnePlus 8 series. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.